Welcome to ADAS Amy. I'm Jack Short and welcome to my beautiful shop where every day I get to play with brand new cars and absolutely have fun. Let's see, today we're working on a Toyota Highlander. Yes, this car is highly decorated. It's got glitter everywhere. I guess this customer really wanted to personalize their vehicle and put glitter in every which way. My first thought was, I'm going to have to clean the front radar. How, is, how am I going to calibrate it? This is going to be a distortion of the front radar. And then I was thinking, well, the customer has been driving this vehicle and everything was working fine before the collision. So let me go ahead and set up my target and actually see what happens. Now, I don't know if these are little plastics, if this is metallic. The radar sensor actually transmits high frequency radio waves. And the only thing that distorts it or bounces back or gives you any kind of reaction is a metallic. If these little crystals are made out of plastic and they just create a little glitter, yeah, we can see it, but that doesn't mean the radar is going to reflect it. So I'm going to go ahead, measure the car, and do an alignment the way I do every car. This car was hit in the front, and the body shop did a beautiful job replacing the bumper, the grill. It's the original radar with the original bracket. So I'm just going to go ahead and run a center line. I have a lot of other videos how to detail run the center line. So I'm just going to do this as a quick overview. I'm not going to get into all that detail. But basically, you're going to do a center line from the front to the back, run a string across, and then drop a plumb bob in the front exactly in the center, and then measure 3,000 feet, 3,000 millimeters from the front. So here is the back center, and I tape the string down exactly, and I pull it all the way across to the front. There is the front exact center from the radar, and there's my target. I like to use the Honda target, and this one is 3,000 millimeters from the dot in the front. And the height is according to the service manual on the Toyota tech stream. It tells you what the height should be for this particular grip. And with the Honda, I can measure it down to the fraction of a millimeter. Now we're going to open up the TIS software. I encourage all my viewers to sign up for the Toyota TIS software. It is just so interactive. It gives you everything up to date. It gives you service manuals and wiring diagram and all the TSBs. I know there's a lot of aftermarket tools, but the more people are supporting the OEM software, the more resources the manufacturers are going to put into it and make sure that they continue to support it. It takes a lot of work in the background to create this. The portal, the passwords, and the tech support for Toyota is just absolutely great. Anytime you need a problem, anytime you have login issues or you change a computer, they're right there. Look how many computers this car has. A 2020 Highlander, look how many modules this has. Today, we're just going to go into the front radar because we're just interested in doing a quick calibration. So here we are, front radar sensor. Now, this software is available even on short-term subscriptions. So if you don't do a lot of Toyota Lexus, you could just sign up for three days. And the interface between the laptop and the vehicle you can buy the Mongoose Toyota Pro directly from Drew Tech, and it's around $500. And this system operates on any Windows system. Now I'm going to go in and take a reading. I got my target set up. I measured and remeasured, and I know I'm perfect center and height where they're supposed to be. I'm going to take a reading now to see where I am. So I see horizontal to the right, I'm a 0.1. And vertical, I'm 0.2, which is almost perfect. But whenever you a car goes through a collision and you remount all the same things, you're always going to be a little bit off. Now I'm going to do the front access beam alignment. I'm going to tell this radar that the front target that I that I posted is exactly centered compared to the vehicle. Of course, I made sure that the tires are fully inflated. There's no excess weight in the vehicle. And this car went through an alignment check to make sure that everything is straight before I set up this alignment. Now I'm going to recalibrate this thing. This is what the calibration does. It tells the computer that this is my new center. This is why it's so important to follow the instructions and measure everything out and do it on a flat surface car so the target and the car 
are exactly the same height. Now I'm just going to go ahead and do a health check. Toyota TIS allows me to check every computer in the car, even though it takes a little bit of time because it's also checking for updates. But this is the fastest way that I can look at the whole vehicle and reset all the diagnostic codes on the entire vehicle by pushing one reset. Now I know this car has been calibrated and I guess what? All of this glitter didn't block the radar. I'm going to reprint my report and here we are. Thank you for watching ADAS Haming. I will use factory tools to calibrate vehicles.